Alright guys, uh, this is part one of my Windows uh, Vista theme for XP. Uh, for this, I'm just showing you uh, the programs and the theme. Um, well, one of the programs I like to have is this docklet right here. Because I really don't, you know, I like to have my wallpaper showing. So I just keep all my folders up here that are important. Then I have my icons here that I mostly, that I use a lot. Uh, and then I have this uh, realistic uh, sidebar, which is actually, uh, you can download this. It's called Tuesday Sidebar. And that just glitched. Crap, hold on. Okay, and now, and then for the, and for this docklet here, you can add skins to it. Let's see, you go into a uh, dock settings, I think. Yeah, dock settings. And um, let's see here. You can move the position of it. You can, you know, make it like that, like that. I personally like it right there. All right. Oh well. Right there. Yeah. And you can style. I have it on Vista Black right now. There's, you see there's a whole bunch of skins right here. And you can change the opacity. You can select the font. And you can get docklets for it. You know, a whole bunch of docklets. And then for um, this thing right here. By the way, the since I'm using Windows XP and you're wondering how I get the fade, like, you know, minimize, maximize thing. Well, it's actually just open and close, but come on, load. But it's a program called Windows FX. You can get it on uh, a site called stardock.com. I'll tell you how to get all these programs and the theme uh, part of part two of my video. But I just want to show you the programs right here. All right, so preferences. You can do appearance, you can do this card, you can run out only when it starts, but it takes up a lot of RAM. As you can see, I'm already putting out 81% of my RAM. And then you can uh, add a whole bunch of docklets, or not docklets, gadgets on the st sidebar. Like clock, calendar, come on, close. Uh, weather, uh, how much uh, hard drive space you're using, um, your CPU uh, output. And then, that, then you can have your mail thing, and then you can have a Google search right here. I like it; it's it's pretty useful. And then you can you can add skins to it if this thing would pop up. Hold on, I'm like really, really, really lagging. See, it like froze. Camtasia takes up a lot of RAM. Plus, all this crap we're running is taking up a lot of RAM. And oh yeah, <laughs> you should see Firefox when I run it. Oh, crap, did it again. Ugh. Hold on. Quit. Hate doing that. And then you can have a selection, and if you want to, like, you know, um, you don't want it to go on top of your windows. So all you gotta do is right-click it and do no, not that. Right-click it and just do auto hide. You know, auto side. But you have to hover your mouse to get it again. I'm just gonna keep it on like that. And then for Windows FX uh, opening things, it'll look like this. And then minimizing, like that. And then maximizing. Oh, uh, and then there's ta taskbar previews of it. And then well, it's like minimizing like that and maximizing like that. And here's all my icons and stuff. I've oh, and there's my. Uh, yeah. And then there's this is all my. And let's see my themes folder right here. Oh, well, hold on. Let me show you this first. Well, this is still loading, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's great. Um. Well, once this freaking thing loads. Jesus, I hate this thing. It's way too much RAM. Um. Well. Well, you see this little plus thing right here? You can click on that. And it'll be gadgets, and then you can add different kinds of clocks. You can add different kinds. As you see, the window pop up right here. Uh, here are all the gadgets. You can have a note gadget, a clock gadget, uh, 
as you see, I already have this gadget, a run gadget. You can type in, uh, well, let's call it sticky gadget, and then like a uh, media player gadget, mail, recycling bin, picture viewer. It'll view your my pictures. Um, what is that one? I don't know what that one is. Um, RSS feed. Uh, pretty much, you know, all these gadgets: search gadget, RSS reader gadget, uh, weather gadget, calculator, battery, wireless connection. All this other stuff, and then you can have uh, different skins. You know, like I have it on. I don't have it on right now. Uh, I think it's. No. Well, it can have black glass. Sorry, this is lagging really bad. Black glass. You can have curved. Come on. Oh my god. Sorry, guys. My computer is crap. 5, 12 megabytes of RAM, so I really don't like my computer. Um, and then you can have Longhorn. Well, yeah, y you get it. You know, there's all these just different kinds of skins, but I'm just going to keep it at, um... Oh, yeah, I forget where you get this. You can just type in, or Google search, Tuesday Sidebar version 3.1, build 30.1.12. You'll, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. Uh, I'm just gonna put this on glass for now. Um, yeah. Or actually, yeah, whatever. Alright, and then, Windows FX. As you can see, Windows FX is all the stuff I showed you. Configure, configure Windows FX. Uh, come on, let's go. Alright, you can have, you can put features, let's see. Wow, wow. You can have shadows, animations to your thing, menu animations, taskbar previews, windows transitions, application trends, transparency, transparent effects, you can make your taskbar transparency, and I just have, I don't have the full version of it, you can buy it, but um, it's a really cool program, I like these programs, and um, well, let's see, I did rocket dock here. You can, I'm pretty sure you can't add your own gadgets, but, you know, these gadgets are pretty useful as it is, but. Alright, so, uh, I'm going to make a part two video of how to get all these applications, and, uh, so I'll see you in part two. Bye.